hi guys in this session we will try to create a mapping we will see the we, uh, we will uh, uh, jump deeper into the informatica developer tool so let's start so this is the tool informatica uh, just go here uh, client then uh, we're going to talk about developer because that's the idq tool okay so there's no separate tool called as idq i mean the developer tool that's the idq tool okay just uh, open it it does take some time all right uh, it's done now just connect it usually the user that we use is administrator and the password for most of the vms is admin so i've just given administrator admin and i see a bunch of stuff a lot of folders uh, these are from the past training classes that uh, we have conducted now let's see let's try to do something here so let me just give a brief introduction to the on this particular informatica developer then uh, we will quickly start so see here you see something called as uh, physical data objects i think i've already talked about that in the first session it's nothing but the sources targets that you're going to create and this is based on the connections first you have to create the connections where do you create the connections you're going to create the connections here so you go here and create the connections first so once you create the connections then through that connections whatever tables are available you're gonna bring those tables that's uh, how simple is it it is and reference tables we will see very soon what's reference tables and uh, this is the mapping so guys who are coming from power center developer they know already what's a mapping and what's a maplet so this is pretty much the same thing what you have in uh, idq in profiles scorecards uh, applications so let's just create a particular mapping let's say new uh, mapping i will say m underscore hello world so this is not a programming language but uh, i really love this hello world <laughs> it's so simple and unique so hello world this i just created a uh, empty mapping then to complete it first uh, drag and drop the source and targets let's uh, let's see what's available for us uh, in the sources well 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 i can see something that's the employees so let me drag the employees see i am using something that is already there right so it's easy you understand right because you don't have to do anything to you just need to drag and drop but first how do you create it let's just see how to create it so new and just a physical data object then uh, what kind of thing would you want to create do you want to create a uh, something like we want to create a relational object right so mostly we create relational objects or we create a flat file now something interesting you would have seen facebook yeah that's right facebook and what is more important is linkedin yeah that's really important linkedin now linkedin is one hell of a job portal okay it's a, it's it's you can say anything it's a professional social network and pretty much everyone is on linkedin at, at least in us and this data is like like nectar okay anyway let's just go ahead with the relational data object next and uh, select a connection i told you right you need to have connection before you want to do anything so go here browse ccc well 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 first of all you see a lot of connections here so, so these connections are nothing but this right is it is it yeah so how do i create a connection so action new connection so just choose a database type it's quite simpler uh, to create a connection oracle and then just say uh, just say test and give the username password and finish that's it i mean i don't want to create a connection because i create a bunch of connections are already there so and i'm not using them so i don't want to create new connections but that's okay and I, and anyway that's how you do it and um, all right so just create, choose anything let's say if i choose source connection and uh, just browse uh, an existing instance from that and i'm going to choose the schema this uh, i'm going to choose the hr one minute i think this uh, one second it's not allowing me to yeah 
I was yeah, I'm sorry. Uh one second. Let me choose this uh table. That is let's just choose this countries. Okay. Or let's say depart okay, department we've already seen. Let's just see choose countries. Okay. And just a finish. So can you see it created something called this country? And uh, one great thing is you can do the profiling here itself. So profile and uh, just a profile next. Uh, just a finish. Uh, results I would like to see. Okay, I think this is empty. Is it? Uh, no it's not empty it's not empty it's a lot of values are there so guys this is how this is a unique feature of idq right so once you click on anything any particular uh, uh, source that you've imported or any target anything source target transformation you can profile it straight away so i profiled this uh, the, the countries and you can see profile got generated i profiled it here okay if you remember um i profiled this countries here and here i can see the values and in the earlier session i've already talked about the profile so i'm not going to repeat the same stuff again but anyway this is how the profile looks like and dot 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 that's the stuff so that is how you're going to create the profiles and a lot of other options are there so um, overview results and um, the primary key uh, inference data discovery right and uh, if I double click on this you can change some uh, of these properties so let's say if I want to rename it to something right so you might be thinking how do I rename or a column or something you can rename it here you can uh, change the primary key in a label stuff all that stuff you can do it here straight away right and the keys that you can provide it here uh, your primary key whatever you want to designate as your primary key that is done and relationships here and in the advanced properties as you can see the connection so that's important the connection uh, the connection uh, you can see the information on the connections and the database type and those stuff right so that's about how to create a particular uh, connection particular uh, input so again just i will repeat it new physical data object and see just uh, i would like to close this this particular session on how to just uh, after creating this stuff because i'm just taking bit by bit step by step i'm not i don't want to create a big big video which contains hey i want to do that i just want to break it down into small chunk of videos helpful useful videos uh, so guys let's see if there is something useful I've already told you flat file non-relational SAP you might have guessed yes that's useful Salesforce is useful data data stuff like that this is useful now uh, for people who have worked in power center a lot of this lot of stuff will be familiar to them they know most of the thing I think data LinkedIn and Facebook is not there and uh, linkedin facebook is not there apart from that green plum is also not there in power center apart from that pretty much everything twitter yeah i think the social network is something that is missing in power center and that's what you can see here uh, um, yeah so yeah that's it i think i will close this session here so that's how you're gonna create a physical data object okay and try it so that's it for this session and next session we will see actually how to execute how to create the whole mapping and execute it okay thanks guys thank you very much